declutter. And I'm going to start in the TV room, work my way to the dining room and kitchen, and then finding them zone 1, zone 2, and zone 3, and zone 4 in the bathroom. And I'm going to spend about half hour, 25 minutes each room. I'm not going to get overwhelmed when I'm doing it. I'm already feeling a little stressed. It doesn't take long from your house to go from clean to chaotic. It seems to happen overnight when everyone's sleeping. I cleaned yesterday, but even with the nice day and everybody outside, clutter can still appear out of nowhere. And I am at fault a lot with putting things away. I took a lot out of my closet, the seasonal one, which I've worked on a few times on my channel, and I can link those videos down below and I took stuff out and just left it in front of my bookcase and I will turn the camera around and show you a walkthrough of what needs to be done when I get up in the morning and I get my sixth grader up because she goes to school at 7 a.m. I clean the back bedroom first I make the bed clean up the clutter on the dresser and sweep the floor and if I don't get anything else done I still feel like I have accomplished something and then I will work on my teen's bedroom before they get home and have their bed made and floor swept. They have a stressful schedule with all kinds of activities and they're an honor, honor student so I try to do as much for them as I can. They do do a lot of their own laundry as well as make their own beds but it's the weekend. They've had a long week with drama club, jazz band, band, swing, and cabaret. If you haven't already, click on that red subscribe word, give this video a big thumbs up, and tap the bell so YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video. Here's all the stuff that I need to find a home for where it's not going to get cluttered or just be visible when you come into my house. It needs to find a home, and if I can't find a home for it within my home, I either purge it or donate it or toss it. And it's all fairly new stuff, so 90% of it will get purged if I can't find a place for it. I like to keep my bookcase looking neat. And just at a quick glance, there are things on it that don't belong. So when you come into the room, scan your bookcases. Make sure picture frames are straight and not knocked over. And anything that doesn't belong there normally, pick them up and put them into your crap basket. I am also going to touch up the couch. Put the blanket away, work on the cubicle here, and I just ordered a nice wood one about the same size, two of them from Walmart, and I cannot wait to get them. i got to sweep the floors, finish putting away the stuff on the dinner table, and then I'll work on the kitchen and the bathroom. Picking everything up and putting it onto the dinner table. I have all my organizing bins and things that are going to use within the house. made out of Dollar Tree bath mats. I thought it was super cute. I got one of those garden trolleys and I put it on the bottom of this Dollar Tree basket. It makes it so much easier when it's heavy. is up on the table I am going to go through and sort these I can put outside I started putting my stakes in the ground yesterday we assembled our new shepherd's hook that has all kinds of fun stuff for the birds more of my hanging garden stuff and I've been looking everywhere for my stones because I didn't put them away properly they're now missing somewhere within the house. So I want to get those found and put them out by the shepherd's hook for the birds as well. Okay, I wanted to show you what I've gotten done so far. Everything is cleared from the front in my black crap basket where I put all the overflow 
from cleaning up to put away is back empty. And I got a few things to bring outside later and the table is almost completely cleared off. I'm going to take some time out to take care of the gerbil and put some comment down on the toilet to let it sit for a few minutes before I give it a good scrubbing. Then I'm going to head back to the kitchen and work on the countertop and the kitchen sink. Okay, I am into the kitchen now, and unfortunately this bag has to stay here, but I'm going to work at all the crap underneath it. And my husband doesn't put anything away or find a place for it. He just puts it in front of the pantry, and that's not where it goes. It's very frustrating. I have to take care of the sink and finish taking care of the kitchen countertop. The front of the pantry is all picked up. Nice, did a nice big sweep in here. And my countertop is organized. And I scrubbed the cabinets and cleaned out my sink. The dining room is picked up. I had my speakers out. I was listening to my favorite 80s metal bands. And some Yes and some Scorpions. I put the pillow on the couch because I thought it looked nice. My birds don't know what to think of the new shepherd's hook outside. They look at it and fly away. And I dusted and cleaned the TV. All the beds are made. The gerbil is taken care of. I just have some garbage to go downstairs. I did empty the green laundry basket. The bathroom is done. Real quick. Made bed. Teen will put away the clothes in the bag when they're home this weekend. And my room. The bed's made and floor swept. And when I get my cubicles, that will be taken care of. That top, dresser top. I hope my cleaning motivation video was helpful to you today. Your home doesn't have to be perfect, but you should have your tabletop free of clutter. And I'll put my speakers away in a little bit. Your countertop completely cleaned and wiped down. Your kitchen sink emptied and wiped down. Or at least put them in the dishwasher if you're lucky enough to have one. I also did my stovetop and put my roosters back on it and wiped out the microwave because it is used constantly in my home. Also, the bathroom should be clean every day. Even if you just touch up every day and do a big scrubbing two, three times a week, keep it clean for your family or when friends come over. We're at the point where we can start having friends over again and enjoying life once again with the pandemic fading. And hopefully it'll fade permanently. I also fluffed out my futon. I am looking for a more comfortable cushion for it. I'm going to see what they have available because I really hate it. And I got it just to have something to sit on, but it's, I'd be honest with you, I wouldn't buy it. It is very uncomfortable. Keely, if you look into a futon, just make sure it's not wood and it has a good thick cushion. And Keely, uh, Bartholo, Bartholo, you can go over to her station and subscribe. She's a good friend of mine. I love her to death. I swept the TV room, put everything away, wiped down the TV and dusted. And it's just so much more calming and more relaxing in here. And I put away all that clutter that was all over the place. It all has a spot. And I didn't have to get rid of too much of it. So I'm very happy about that. Because some of it is new and I would have just donated it. But I am going to be using it when I find some more time. It's another thing that we need to organize better is our time management. With that said, if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up so we can get more motivation videos. Also, click on that red subscribe word and tap the bell so YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video.